Okay, greetings everybody. Welcome back. Former Thrax here. Let's uh let's jump back into Night of the Dead. Continue our game in progress. And uh, we're going to leave all the settings the same, just standard normal difficulty for now while we continue to investigate the basic gameplay elements. So, let's go uh, load game. So, we just survived our first horde night, and um, we've got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> a lot of stuff to do. I think I'm going to focus on getting some food and some resources and we'll try to work on getting a little better defensive base setup <clears throat> in the first hour or two. Uh, it's a four hour cycle, day night cycle. Um, so we're on hour five of day one, uh, having completed uh, day zero, <laughs> apparently. Okay, so we got lots of stuff to do. Um, do we have arrows? I've got 43 arrows. We've got plenty of arrows. The bow's in decent enough shape. Um, yeah, we don't, shouldn't need the, uh, the hammer. Let's go, uh, get rid of throwing stars, I guess. Hey. Well, that was kind of silly of you, Mr. Zombie. Very silly. I don't know how they handle respawns of um, enemies and things. If it's on reload or on a timer or what. So there's still some game mechanics I'm trying to puzzle out. Uh, I think I'm gonna go down slope back here. We're just gonna we're just gonna gather up some raw materials that we can stockpile, as well as uh, try to do some hunting. Um, I was going to grab the knife in place of that. I believe this is the herb bush. We'll watch. Yeah, I just said I got an herb. So this is the bush that gives herbs. We got leaves. I'm gonna keep picking up uh, mushrooms too. All right, anything that looks like it's moving down there. I don't know how fishing works in the game either. Might have to investigate that as well. I don't see any animals moving around down there. Um. Oh, actually, before we leave, uh, let's spend some of the research points. Let's get us some more slots. I had just started investigating the research desk earlier today. Um, so, Porter, that's what we want. So, we grab the first one. That one, oh, that's right, it takes the extra stuff. Calisthenics. I don't know where to get this kind of stuff. Obtained in the factory, apparently. Central grassland area. Huh. All right, so I can't just race down the line. Um, well, hold off on that one. Hmm. Now they're getting expensive. I think that'll be enough for now. All right. Uh, we'll go investigate over here. 
We haven't gone over there yet. Can't collect multiple when they're near each other. Great. It seems we have prepared a decent amount of food ingredients. Shall we start with a simple dish that even beginners can easily make? Let's begin with a simple mushroom and fruit saute. Give herbs. No herbs? Hmm. Thought that was the herb bush. Alright. What do we got? Rabbits generally symbolize peace. But have you heard of the exception? There are rumors of a rabbit that has become aggressive and attacks humans first. It's the mutated rabbit. This rabbit is much more powerful than a regular rabbit. But if you can catch it successfully, you can expect a great reward. What the heck? <laughs> what was that last thing? How did I get like an electrical effect? Huh. I don't know what that last little bit was. Oh, another one of those guys. Uh, my stamina and my hit points are capped because I'm so hungry. Have uh, some beans. More beans. That'll be it for now. Now I got somebody on fire. How the hell? <laughs> Why am I getting all these? Oh, punk. Still managed to get me. Yeah, all of a sudden I'm getting all of these uh, electrical or, uh, and whoa, rude. Damn it. I missed the timing again. Huh. So, uh, coil. Oh, we're getting coil effects now. Why? Why all of a sudden am I getting coil effects? I had none of these previously. So why did these all of a sudden activate? Ignition coil five, strength five. So apparently I have ignition coil five, lightning coil five. Huh. But are these, I, I don't know where those come from. Are those things I found? Are they level ups? What, what the hell are they? Fire attack chance. I mean, I'll take them. I just don't know why all of a sudden they appeared. What are my thoughts so far? Um, I'm liking it so far. I did a little bit of research after my stream this morning just to see kind of what the game involves on the, the farther end. And it's got way more stuff than I actually expected it was going to have. It is janky. It's got jank. But I don't mind a bit of jank terribly in these kind of zombie games. Um, 
This is probably the closest game I've seen to Seven Days to Die so far, but it goes even further than Seven Days to Die in the Horde Knight stuff with just a crazy assortment of builds and fortresses you can put up and a huge array of cool trap effects you can do. Um, so yeah, I'm liking it more the more I investigate it and I'm getting used to the combat stuff. Uh, but the building variety looks good. Environment looks good. Uh, the lots and lots of crafting and gathering, which is, you know, always a good thing. So compare it with only thing I can compare it to realistically is seven days to die. And I've never played Rust. I know of Rust, but I've never played it, so it's harder for me to make that comparison. Not sure where that guy came from. He just sort of ran in from over there. I think everybody's out of here. Uh oh. They're going to work their way around. Bullets. Quite a few bullets. Come on in. Oh yeah. It's supposed to be in first person mode. <laughs> Base building stuff in particular looks like it'd be uh, a hoot in uh, multiplayer with people cooperating and building these big, cool Rugelbergian trap stuff that you can put together. What the hell is that? Chain handle. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Stupid crawler zombie. Yeah, I'm not sure what that one was. Miscellaneous tier one chain handle, attack speed plus five. Handle for melee weapon can be attached to equipment at the handmade. All right, so handmade. Uh, parts, pair. Hmm. Oh. Well, not sure how that works. <clears throat> oh. 
More ammo. I just need to find a gun. Okay, so I'm just looking around here. Not actually clammable. Not seeing much in the way of whoop, there's a rabbit, but it's over by the zombies. <laughs> Hey, rabbit. Uh, well, that was nice of the rabbit. No, nah, I'm not playing online. I'm playing single player solo mode. Rabbit leather is flexible and has high insulation properties. With the right processing, it can be used for various purposes. Well-processed leather can be used to craft various items or enhance equipment. Yeah, I streamed the game earlier this morning for a few hours. We're continuing that stream. This is the first time I've played it, so we're still very much in learning mode. Uh, if I enjoy it enough and uh, you guys enjoy watching it enough, I'll try to convince some folks to play uh, multiplayer on a community server. Seems like it'd be a fun one to do that with. It's not showing me the pop-up box to the right. There we go. I could have sworn that was the bush that was supposed to give herbs. Leaf and vine, huh. Apparently, I am not looking for, or I'm not getting to the right bush. All right, let's, uh, let's head down to the water line area. There's herb. Hmm, must not be a hundred percent. All right, we have water. Do we have drowning? I can't go under the water apparently, so we don't have drowning mechanics. Swimming yes, drowning no. That's fine. I don't usually find those mechanics particularly interesting anyway. All right, while we're here, let's grab some iron. Uh, doo -doo. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> wrong hockey. Why the hell does the hitbox move? <laughs> God, it takes too many swings to blow this stuff up. Still no sign of any animals.
15 swings. That is too many. All right, let's go drop some stuff off. It's storage. I'm gonna go chop some trees down and then we'll uh we'll do a little bit of roaming. All right. Um I need to make another box. I need to expand this. I don't have enough enough space right now, but I need to put another box up uh for cooking gear. Luckily, it's pulling from the local. Uh, I think it's pulling from the other box. It should. I just don't have any of this stuff. Uh, we have none of the mushroom recipes yet. Yeah, go ahead and keep these for now. Ah, uh, so many journal entries I still haven't finished up. So they want me to go to the hospital on the main quest. Still got uh, build quest stuff I haven't finished. Uh, we haven't gotten metal processing going. Okay, you want me to get the coil workbench going? Craft roasted mushrooms and fruits. But they don't tell me how to do so. Ah, that one. We're short an apple, which we can get. There's a chance to get apples when you chop trees down. So, yeah, we're going to go tree chopping here in a second. All right. Yeah, let's let's go do that. Um, I don't see the resources. Well, so far, I mean, it's only been a day. I don't see the resources respawning here near the base. Um, let's just go chop that group of trees down. Hey, we got an apple.
All right, let's go back to base, drop some stuff off, and uh, take a look at some of our building options. I want to look at some of the trap options so we can do some early prep for the next uh, Fortnite. So these things worked great. Uh, given that I had no idea what was going to happen the first Horde night, I had no idea I was going to have to fight like 200 zombies. <laughs> so it was it was pretty entertaining. But uh, I'm probably going to disassemble everything except for the, the platforms in the center. I'll get rid of these and we'll we'll redesign as I, after I take a look at the um, the trap options and see which kind of automated traps we have access to. Um, give me that stuff. And I still only got one apple out of that entire group, huh? Hmm. All right, we got rusted, roasted mushrooms and fruits. Movement speed plus 10% for 12 hours. So that's actually quite a long time. <laughs> if that's in game time, 12 hours would be... 12 hours in game time would be two real world hours of plus 10% movement speed. So uh, I like it. Food is not just for filling our stomachs. It can also give our bodies special effects. Thanks to the refreshing taste of the mushroom and fruit saute, one can feel lighter and more energetic, resulting in faster movement. All right, so... Let's take a look. Uh, traps. So this is just the list I have unlocked so far. So this is what we used initially, barb traps, and I just ran back and forth luring the zombies onto these, and they took almost no damage, and just over time they annihilated all the zombies, um, which was nice, but you know, that's, that's awkward. So a cutter trap, we need things like trap machines, iron ingots, alright, so yeah, we're gonna need stuff. The meat mallet, a rotating mallet trap, rotates when zombies come close. Again, we need a trap machine and iron ingot. Grinders, looks like they're all, all these basic single tile ones are taking these two materials. And I don't have a lot of nails currently. The shredder trap. The spiked floor. Pusher. Compressor, a falling spike trap. Spikes drop when zombies walk underneath. The pendulum, that's what I need. I need pendulums on top of spiked floors. So I lay out a row of spiked floors. Uh, I don't know if it's three or four long. And then, looks like it's three long. And then have this set on top of the spiked floor traps. So when they try to cross through, they're getting staggered by the spiked trap and then the pendulum swings and uh, bashes them for tons of damage. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to set up. If I can just get this and the spike trap and rearrange kind of my, my setting a little bit, I think we'll be okay. So with that in mind, I need to get a uh, trap machine, figure out where that's at. It says crafting workbench and then iron ingots and nails. The others are fairly straightforward except for rope, which we'll have to find, but we've got a pretty good supply of that. 
Uh, so let's look at the trap machine and the iron ingots. So we've got this upgraded. Two iron ingot stage. We've got 19 ore and then it's just branches. All right, so let's get uh, five more of those. And then uh, trap something or other. So this is the equipment bench. That says crafting workbench. Uh, are they different things? This is just pure raw material. I need to uh, get a shield too and test out using a shield in melee combat. Now, I don't see it here, so am I missing? I'm missing several benches we haven't put up yet. So that's the equipment workbench, in workbench, coil workbench, material production. Ah, that one. All right, let's. Uh, I need to expand my uh, my thing here. Um, I'll probably just destroy that whole thing and place it. I'm not sure where. I'm kind of in the best spot with my little platform here, but... All right, let's do some uh, foundations first. Let's get this expanded so I've got more room. Okay, that was... Change the rotation angle. Uh... Then lower and snap to Um, I'm well aware what adventure mode for a Dwarf Fortress is. Dwarf Fortress is uh, an I don't care game. I, I don't care what they do with it. I don't care if it's got the super mega ultra awesome gameplay addition to it. I won't be playing it. <laughs> I've played too much of it in the past too many times over the, the decades. <clears throat> I burnt myself out on Dwarf Fortress and that whole genre has uh, moved on from uh, its original spawning intentions. It has had many babies over the years and I would rather eh, somewhat play those successors to the Dwarf Fortress. Gameplay mechanics, but um, I can't play a lot of colony management, even adventure mode in Dwarf Fortress type stuff. Uh, I've just done too many thousands of hours of those kinds of games in the past, and even now I just can't play any of them really. So, no Dwarf Fortress, regardless of what uh, changes they've made. Um, oh yeah, back to, uh, back to this. Uh, I wish the angle wouldn't be. Come on now. Oh. Oh, see, now, now I went against the grain. They're, they're, they're going the wrong direction, damn it. <laughs> Uh, am I out of material? Yeah, I'm out of material. More logs. Yeah, we're just going to need to chop down a whole bunch of trees.
Yeah. Buckland, I am just starting to realize the extent of the uh, <laughs> big mazes of death that are possible in the game. I'm still trying to figure out basic mechanics. Let's keep chopping trees. That tree took a lot of hits. Somebody growling behind the fence. These two zombies up that way. Another zombie in the trees right ahead there. Peeky boo. I think they're inside the house. Need to check to see if I can do some upgrades on my tools. Well, Oh, come on now. Where did the ducks go? I don't know if they... Oh, hi there. So can I watch them and do they land? Yes, they do.
I got two of my 10 headshots. Hey there, Art. Oh, we've just been uh, doing some gathering. Oh, come on. Too high. Oh, got the shock attack on her. I do like the take all button so you can just grab everything in a local area. <laughs> I'm up to five headshots. Yeah, I think interface and base building wise, the only thing I don't have that I wished for is uh, the ability to move crafting workbenches and storage boxes. Apparently that we don't have that. If it had that, I'd be a pretty happy camper in regards to those elements. Hello. Hello. All right, that got a little spicier than I really wanted. I'm enjoying combat a lot more now with a little bit of practice. I think that should mean the house is clear. Hey there, Subquake. Look, I'm playing a zombie game. Are you surprised? <laughs> Yeah, it's been on my list for uh, a while to visit. I saw that it had a big update recently. A lot of quality of life stuff, like uh, crafting out of storage boxes without having to pull the items into your inventory. So I think I've had it on my wish list for, I don't know, two or three years. <clears throat> it's finally time to give it a look. Seems to be in a pretty good place. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. That first Horde Night, though, oh my god. <laughs> I just cannot imagine people new to the genre dealing with that first Horde Night. <laughs> they don't start te teaching you to defend yourself or set up defenses until like two hours before the thing kicks off. By which point, <laughs> you have to go around and get a whole bunch of resources and then try to put together some semblance of defense. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's got some rough patches and some jank. That's all right. Yeah, no, they all got to operate within their budgetary restraints. But yeah, I wish I could move things without destroying them. I still, I'm not 100% sure if you get all the materials back or not. 
So let's uh let's let's put stuff away first. But it's got the instant drop into uh into boxes, which is nice. So you can just really quickly drop inventory in that matches what's there. And it's got resource sharing that you can turn on and off. So those are all good. Now I haven't uh, haven't played No One Survived yet. Oh, oop, oop, big bird. Ah, oh, come on now. He's flying away with my arrow, <laughs> bastard. Uh, I am not chasing that. Fox skins, logs, another apple. All right, let's go see what we can cook up. Hey, look at that. Roasted bird. Let's do another one of those. All right, so we got a little bit of food. Yeah, I definitely need to get another box set up. As soon as I move some stuff around, we'll get another box set up. All right, uh, back to guess you. So, I'm going to demolish you anyway. I got back. Hey, how about throwing a little surprise party for those zombies? Mm. Throwing weapons? Let's craft some throwing knives or javelins. What the hell? Gave me that one a long time ago. I already did that one. Weird. Uh, why do you angles have to be so, so finicky? Not enough materials. Missing rubber, missing nails, missing bricks, lumber. All right. That's fine. I just want to move stuff around a little bit. Make some more room for other things. Uh, yeah. Let's wait on those. Um, there. Storage box. Oof, all my nails. But I need a box over here for the food items. Is the storage box insufficient? How about thinking of a solution? By upgrading the storage box, you can increase its capacity, making it more efficient to use. Then try upgrading the storage box. 
All right, I need to figure out where I make nails. This is just raw material, metal, uh, wood, stone, and metal processing into the various ingots and bars and so on. Where I make bricks, huh? All right, good to know. So, let's see. Probably in here, not the skin workbench, not the coil bench. Metal production, that's the one we need. Um, cancel. Nope, that's the same one, damn it. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I can make rope. Hey, I can make rope. Crap machine. There it is. All right. So we need gears. Iron ingots and pieces of iron. Need another one. All right, um, yeah, yeah. Well, this is not good. <laughs> I need the smallest iron unit. All right, this, this shows me kind of what I need, though. So we were missing uh, the trap machine component, and I forget what the other thing was. So if we're looking to get a pendulum, we need a trap machine for the pendulum, and then I think just iron ingots. Now we know where we can get the rest of this stuff pretty easily. So more wood, more iron harvesting, and we should be able to get the uh, the pendulum and the spiked floor set up for this next night, I think. So, yeah. All right. Um, eat our egg and our bird. Then I guess one of our roasted mushrooms. The flavor and nutrition of meat are elements we need even in a survival environment. To make a truly delicious meat dish, Fresh meat is a must. Let's search for fresh meat for our delicious meat dish. All right, skin workbench. Oh, I guess we'll put you over here. Huh. 
<laughs> That's not quite what I thought that was going to do. <laughs> That's not what I thought that was going to actually work with. care about that. Goodbye. This isn't the one I already have over here, right? <laughs> you can make research data out of leaves. <laughs> Tape. And I'm stuck behind the wrench again. So, sure looks like I should be able to do hides and stuff here, but I am not seeing it. Okay, um, so that's the crafting workbench there, so maybe it is different. Let's, uh, let's move the research table. Damn it. Keep picking the same damn benches. I wish they would put names on these things. It says material bench. Crafting bench. So material, crafting, we've got that. I don't have a crusher. We've got the equipment. Skin doesn't do what I thought it was going to do. And coil workbench. So yeah. Where do you work animal hides? Rebar and nails. <clears throat> and 
rebar and nails. Hmm. I just need to go out and get some more iron and stuff. Did you just do? <laughs> Why did you just transfer all that stuff? Animal intestines and animal fat. All right. Um, Oh yeah, I did. I wanted to look at reforging. Hey, pickaxe. <laughs> of course, you need iron and tape. You now plus two. Then we need process. Yeah, processed leather. That's. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, it's under handmade. Okay, that's where it's at. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's under handmade wear. Huh. I don't get it. Is it under trim? All right, let's actually pick pick the leather pieces up. Must be under trim. Yeah. Weird. Hunting animals directly every time can be inefficient. Using traps can be an efficient way to catch animals. How about setting up a simple, small animal trap? Uh, animal traps. Yeah, we'll get to that. All right, let's um Hmm, where did my uh my hot bar go? Hey hot bar, what did I what did I do to you? How did I manage to turn off just my hot bar? Okay. Hmm. UI on off. Where'd you go, Hopper? <laughs> All right, you experts. How the hell did I manage to make my hot bar go away? Huh. Okay, let's do a save load. I like how it just freezes.
Hey, look, we have a hot bar. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Game goof, I'm assume. All right. Uh, so I was going to swap out. Uh, my axe, which I already got my axe. Knife. Still got plenty of arrows. All right. Um, yeah, let's wander around and grab some more iron and, um, you know, kill a zombie. We're already on hour 11. Oh, crap. Time is passing faster than I expected. I'm not getting nearly enough done. Big bird. Pretty well. That one not as well. Combo. Apparently they want out. I'd set him on fire by kicking him. It's getting a little janky on me here. More bullets. zombies There's a lot of zombies right there well I was gonna go over there and get that iron but too many zombies
Sounds like all the buildings have a bunch of zombies inside. Yeah, not enough. Mm -hmm. Didn't see that one. few just sitting out here in the woods, huh? <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I think that's one up there. I think I saw some over on the hillside up there as well. That is not iron.
Looking at my lower left HUD indicator, very bottom section, I can see my meal that listed there. But I don't know if there's somewhere in the interface where I can see what that's, what the meal or any other bonuses I've got going are doing for me right now. Um, we got stat points. Let's go. Uh, let's catch memory up and strength. Hey, Coil. Still don't know when or why you showed up. What are we up to? Fifteen iron ore. Copper, 22 pieces. Seems like it should be more after all the uh, hammering I've done. Well, that's not a good sound. A wolf. All righty then. <laughs> Animal intestines, meat cut, wolf I'm skin, bones. Your hunting skills improved. <laughs> However, it's important to learn various ways to obtain meat rather than always hunting directly. You can also trap larger animals. There are incredibly diverse and delicious dishes in the world. However, considering your cooking skills, it's important to first build a foundation before challenging complicated dishes. How about starting by simply grilling meat? Rabbit. <laughs> Every time you hear that noise, your hit point and stamina bars drop pretty significantly. Seems odd that you're... Hit point cap is uh, adjusted per your your hunger level. All right, let's have a can of beans and roasted meat. That wolf chasing the bunny or chasing me? He's chasing the bunny. That's entertaining. Oh, he stops moving right before I fire. <laughs> So there's a good sized city right here. I believe it's a static map and you have different starting positions. Um, but there's a pretty big city right here that we came kind of tangentially through. We started up here, came out, came over to the city and then came over to the, uh, the research facility. Now we're 13. So, hour 24 is when we're going to have our next horde night. I'm trying to get enough iron that we can get a decent couple of traps put together to help me get through a little easier.
Um, you go back to your respawn point, which reminds me, I forgot to remake my, my little bed roll <laughs> after I moved, cleared it out. You can also make saves and reload if you'd like. And there's different settings you can pick in the world setup options for the consequences for death, whether you lose, whether your gear drops, whether you lose um, XP or research points, or I forget the whole list. All right, so be there, bunny rabbit there. Radiated zombie. Can I hit him in the radiated tummy part? Hey! Oh. Bum crouches at the last second. Yeah, it's got a bunch of different world setting options you can change. You can change them anytime you want. You just have to pop back out, restart the game, and then choose whatever settings or make whatever adjustments you want. Which is good. And it has multiplayer, which I'm more interested in now, having seen a little bit of the gameplay and doing a little bit of investigation in between this morning's stream and now. My only concern is I don't know how performance is. Another level up. All right, so... Just gonna make my way back home. Building variety seems really good though. And um good variety of enemies. Their behavior's pretty cool. With dodging and falling down and hitting you while they're on the ground and range fire on some of them and I haven't, uh, I'm not in any super dangerous areas right now, so I don't have any of the really odd or strong enemies to deal with currently. I haven't been following development. I don't know if it didn't have it before and it now has it or not. I couldn't answer that. I've been keeping a very loose eye on it and had it on a wish list for a couple of years now, waiting for it to develop a little further before I jumped in. I believe they're doing the 1.0 release fairly soon, though, is the plan. That's, uh, that's one of the big guys with the axes. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd rather avoid him, I think. That looks like there's quite a bit of stuff and quite a bit of zombies in that building, so... We'll head over there. Oh, didn't even see him. What the hell is that thing in the background? I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? Let's see if it'll follow me all the way home. I don't know how far they're, if they have a leash and they return to a spawn point, or do you have to get a certain distance away? This is a good test. Is this thing going to leap at me when it gets a certain distance? I feel like it's going to jump. Come with me. I'm going to take you all the way home. Or I'm going to shoot you in the face a bunch. And you're pretty slow. Oh, now he's faster. If 
your weapon's durability goes down, every swing, every shot won't pack the same punch. So to keep your weapon in top form, Whoa. it's gonna need some repairs, right? Think of the equipment repair kit as your weapon's BFF. With it, you can make that worn out weapon feel brand new. <laughs> oh my god. Uh I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> uh do I have to intervene in that or is it gonna go out on its own? Or is ours just gone now? <laughs> uh. It looks like those are just toast. Oh, I was gonna get rid of all this stuff anyway, so I don't really care. Good lesson to learn, though. So, can I uh, disassemble this stuff? Okay, Man, that was interesting. Dump it. Oh, what the hell? Ah, I did hit the wrong button. Oops, my bad. Um... Trim a meat cut into a small meat cut. Hmm. I didn't get a hide off the wolf. As time goes by, the zombies will become stronger and stronger. Ah. Soon enough, there will be those who charge straight through the kill zone you've created. Attacking them from a distance before they get close seems like a good preventive measure. Here, the long range traps can fulfill this role diligently. Okay, um, ah, let's just finish knocking this stuff down. Gonna do it anyway.
Okay, I'll leave that for the moment. Um, so, I want to know... Trap machine. So, need another gear. I'll need three more gears because I want to make two... Well, now I want to make... I want to make one... I want to make a bunch. At a minimum, what I'm hoping to do for this evening's is get uh, three of these with one of these over top of those three. And then whatever else I can squeeze in. So I need one trap machine for that. I need one each for these three. So I need four total. So we're going to need a bunch of gears, which takes a bunch of ingots. Oops. One copper wire short. Copper wire needs copper ingots. Creating things by hand is right. both satisfying and enjoyable, wouldn't you agree? So, we've got those four Feeling done. Certain. There's no need to worry. The item crafting bench has got your back. More iron ingots, wood planks, nails. All right, so I got enough for those. You, I might have enough after I do the other one. So first let's get some more basic foundations down. Make it longer. Going to need more logs. Right, let's go get some more trees. Yep, there's vehicles. No idea when, how, or where you get them, but I do know there's vehicles. I've seen at least three or four different types. I don't know just what kind of variety there are.
Is there zombies? No, they're they're infected. They're not they're not zombies. <laughs> I actually don't know what they consider or in this game if they're considered undead or if they're just weird infected variants of uh, humans or I'm not sure what the mythology does here in this one. Hey big bird. We get you this time. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Yep, there's farming. <laughs> yeah. Don't know how extensive it is. Wow, this is taking a lot of swings. The hell? <laughs> what the hell is this tree made out of? Two logs, a branch, a resin, and four leaves out of all of that chopping, huh? Few more. And I think we'll have enough. All I'm gonna go for is the um pendulum with the three spike traps, then maybe one or two more. And then I'll do a couple of ramps and a side side way of getting back up onto the uh the main thing without me having to go through the traps. No, I did an early, early a.m. stream for me. The stream this morning for my time zone started at 4 a.m. and we went till about 7.30 a.m. Then I uh, took a break, mowed the lawn, got some food, took a nap, and uh, now we're back again. <laughs> so we've only been going now for, uh, what is that, a little over an hour, hour and a half. We're prepping for tonight's horde. Yeah, if you look at the um, the items on my hop bar, the pipe and the pickaxe show a plus one in the top left corner. Those have been upgraded.
How bad are the hordes? <laughs> oh my god. I probably had, I don't know the exact number, but I probably had like 200 zombies on the first night. <laughs> it was an astounding amount of zombies. It went a long time. We're going to be a little better prepared this time, though. Oh, another stat point. Shall we go? Uh, let's go. Let's catch memory up. I'm just kind of keeping them all kind of close to each other. So you've got stat increases when you level up. You've got uh, research trees that will give you bonuses. And then you've got item upgrades. And I think a lot of items have uh, like equipment upgrade slots right now we're still at the very very early basic game but we're starting to figure out some of that stuff all right let's head back So I think I'll do two or three more platforms in a line and I want to do a platform over here, a ramp and a platform. And I'm not sure how far I can jump. Looks like we can't jump very far, at least at whatever skill level or stat level I've got currently. So I might not be able to jump from one platform to another. Maybe if I do uh, an extra stair up and then drop down onto it. All right. I think that'll be long enough for now. Let's go ahead and put in a ramp. Progress on our defenses is underway. It's time to prepare the materials we'll need for repairs when our barricades come under attack. Branches are essential materials needed for repairing buildings and reloading traps. You never know what unexpected events might unfold on the battlefield. From now on, destroy the nearby bushes or trees and secure an appropriate amount of branches. All right, so are these things going to hit me? No. Now, hopefully, they let me build the pendulum on top of this. All right. Must be a detects. Gee, does this need to be the opposite direction? <laughs> Why do I feel like this needs to be the opposite direction? I needed to punt the zombies back that way, not towards me. Yeah, great. Well, hopefully we get the uh, the uh, parts back, the important parts. All right, so I want... Yeah, like that. All right. So the idea is they come up, they hit the spikes, hit the spikes, hit the spikes, and I think that'll stagger them and slow them. They'll take damage of t as well. But the main point is hopefully they take, uh, they get staggered, and then the pendulum ball smashes them back this direction. Yeah, it's going to hit both ways, but I, until I see it in action, I would rather the first hit be 
pushing them back that way. This will be the reset position, I assume, that it'll always return to. So I want the initial position aiming that direction. And then I'm going to put whatever else we can put together on these next two. And I'm going to leave the back half alone. I just need to figure out how I can get access to this part without having to run back around to the front and coming through all that myself. So let's see if we can do be different level I want there to be a gap but not a huge one I don't know if the zombies will cross this way, though. Hmm. Let's move this back a little further. Tell the height. <laughs> uh, might be not high enough. Nope, it's fine. Hmm. Can't quite reach it to demolish it from here. Nope. <laughs> Just a hair too far. All right. And the problem's going to be I won't be able to demolish it after the fight starts. So am I going to be better served to get rid of it? I don't know how zombies are going to react to that kind of a gap. All right, uh, let's see. So if I want to put anything else up there trap-wise. Does the meat mallet knock them off of this when it swings around and hits them? I guess I could put a platform here and then on the far side and then here and then put these pushers. So push them off that side, push them this direction, push them that direction. That sounds kind of fun. I think I'm going to try to put together four more traps. I'd like to put the meat mallet in just so I can see it work and then do... Maybe like one of each of these, a meat mallet, a pusher, and I don't know, something else. Maybe the compressor trap. But we'll see if we can get a few more of the trap machines put together. It's hour 16. Um, so, years. 
which takes pieces of iron, which means we have to go out and grab some more iron. All right. Let's go get some more upgrades. Go ahead and grab the uh, bonus chopping wood. And logging expert research, yes. And then obtain church, central grasslands. I don't understand that. I'm not sure I, I need a lot of these types of things, and I just don't know how I know where to go to get these. It's church a very specific location somewhere, or just find a beaver. I, I don't know. Hmm. Not worried about those. I do want that, but we have to find whatever this is. Obtain checkpoint, central grassland area. Sure would like a ranch. Island wide obtain bookshelf. Okay. Apparently, it's just books. Find bookshelves. All right, that gets rid of most of our research points. How to get books? First, some areas might just have specific books lying around. Another method is to sift through bookshelves. Check out the book you want, and if you thoroughly inspect the bookshelves in areas where that book is common. Or you can directly purchase it from a kiosk. Okay, I haven't seen a kiosk yet. Oops, should have looked at more upgrades. So many swings necessary. Little bunny foo foo.
Yeah, it's weird. The uh, the shadows in games never seem to match up. <laughs> so many games have this quote unquote problem. Do you notice it in third person? Does it do it in third? No, it matches up in third person. It's just first person view where it's screwed up. <laughs> There's a number of really weird things about the first person view. I want to play in first person. I just find it more entertaining and immersive and uh, difficult, which I'm all about. But there are definitely some uh, some weirdnesses with uh, playing in this mode. Oh, really? I have just about worn this pickaxe out. Hmm. Yeah, I think the first person view is kind of an add on afterthought. really seems uh, most of the animations and kind of the way things work were designed for this third person mode. Not the first, third, or fifth game where I've seen this kind of oddity between modes, view modes. I make it through this stupid rock before we uh it kind of feels like the power of the pickaxe is diminishing based on the durability still says damage 22 I don't remember if that's what it started at or if it's lower because god damn it's taken a long time to hit these rocks down all right that's all the mining we're gonna be able to do so let's go kill a zombie or two and then we'll head back to base So we've cleared that building. We haven't been down this way. Yep, yep. I hear you. <laughs> Just want to be put out of your misery.
piece of iron and some crude oil. Archery is pretty powerful. Korean game developers. Uh, that's a lot of iron over here. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I'd like to take this home, please. Looks like it might be able to carry one or two pieces of loot. source for iron you're just doing this hmm I haven't tried breaking things like this doesn't look like it What? <laughs> what is? It's a kiosk. Hardware store kiosk. Maintenance kit. Electronics, fuses, plugs, batteries, varistor, and motors. Huh. Okay. I didn't bring any of my coins. Can sell stuff. Okay. Good to know.
I see. That's how it is. <laughs> is he really going to go all the way around? Hey, an iron necklace rare. Bonus damage, slower speed, more judgment, wound reinforcement, evasion rate. Who's nowhere? All right, so lots of iron and a kiosk. I think that's enough. Let's head back to base. If you build a birdhouse, birds will come to visit. And the eggs laid by the visiting birds can be a good source of food. Need a junk drawer to hold stuff. Don't know how to put this on. Handle for melee weapon can be attached to equipment at the handmade, but I have not figured out how to do that. So, handmade. Don't know how it works. Or if it's particular to a specific type of item, I don't know. <laughs> Just says handle for melee weapon. Well, well, there you go. I had to right click. 
Apparently I'm not allowed to click and drag it over there. Huh. I thought I'd tried that earlier. Weird. All right. So chain handle. Now has the chain handle. But there's no way to see what the chain handle does after you install it. Let's just put it back in here. Chain, thorn, and knuckle. Clamp, air booster, electricity generator. Saw, poison gas emitter, and electric shocker. All right. Okay. Um Back up near 50 arrows and then I needed to make trap machines which needs gears which needs Ingots. Got three wire left. I can do one more. All right, so that gives me one, two, three. Leaves me the final piece. All right, that'll do. So what are we going to try to put up? I'm going to try a meat mallet, a compressor. I'll do the compressor first, then the meat mallet, and then the pusher is the final one. more iron ingots and more nails I'm probably not gonna have enough lumber This one, I assume I'm going to need, yeah, off to the side. All right, so you build you. Will it fit with just one or do I need multiple?
What the heck? How does this work? <laughs> does it does it go in both directions? Yeah, it snapped a little high. How the hell does this work? So this would have to be a path around. You put it in the center space and then it pushes them. I might wait on that one. That's more complicated than I expected. How about we just do a uh, simple bleed? Insufficient materials, more logs. All right. I just want some, I need to make some more space up here. I'll probably need to move this back one more. I need to be able to kind of shuffle around a bit because we're going to have those acid bomber guys. I can't just stand still in a tiny spot without getting hit constantly, probably. All right. Um, Number 19. All right, let's go chop a few more trees down and then we'll finish that. We'll push it back a little further and I'll do a little platform on the end there that I can maneuver around on. And I think we'll be done with that for now. Oh, yeah. Um... Damn it, pieces of iron. Uh, I should probably start getting some of these bags and things put together too. Increase my storage. <laughs> oh, 
What? How the hell did I manage to not repair my axe? Ugh. This is the woodcutter's axe. Oh, I didn't realize I had different ones. That's probably why I'm confused. No, I had multiple axes. Uh, I gotta be careful there. You get arrested by the pun police. I got pretty strong uh, pun protection going on. <laughs> I have to, just in case Makeum shows up. This seems to be going a lot faster with this axe. What are the differences here? So, I, I don't know. 22 damage seems the same. So, I mean, 20 to 22. Why does this axe feel faster than the other one? That's minus 11 movement speed. That is minus 10.4, but it has critical damage bonus. Yeah, I, I don't know. It feels like this one's going a lot faster. Yeah, seven's about the right number, I guess. It's the rocks that take forever. It's been seven to eight for the trees for a while, so I'm just... feels faster because I'm comparing it to the rocks that take 14 to 15 swings. <laughs> Greetings, dear Izern. Give mushrooms. All right, well, let's grab a few more while we're out here. Just about got the uh, protection set up for the night. That should be vastly improved. Although I do need to get some more of the um, the spikes down, just in case. So I might do a fallback position where the, I can just jump around the spikes like I did last time if the main spot doesn't work out the way I hope.
Well, it's Horde every night in this game, so... I don't know. I don't know how much it's going to ramp up between day one and day two. Yep, every single night. When it says hour 24, it's, uh, it's time for a horde to show up. All right, I think that's good enough for now. Uh, it's four hours in real life. 240 minutes for a full day cycle. Yep. Night takes quite a while. The visibility has been pretty good at night, so it doesn't really slow you down all that much. You can still go do whatever. I, I don't know if nighttime's more dangerous than daytime in regards to zombies or anything like that. And at least the first night, we had pretty clear skies and a full moon, and the visibility was still fine without even having any lights, really. Oh, speaking of that, I need to get some lamps up. Uh, that's right. I'm out of iron again. Damn it. I do. I have a flashlight attached to my belt. That, and there's also a torch you can have in your offhand. Go just a little further back. Uh, 
Not sure how far I can actually jump. That'll do. That's almost perfect. All right, we'll hope they can't make that transition other than jumper specialist zombies. It gives me enough room to kind of maneuver around a little bit. We got uh, trap, 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 pendulum, and then spike, spike, spike. That should, um, that's a massive difference compared to what we had on the first night. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some of the, uh, get some of these down and I'm out of lumber again. Last time I made the mistake of letting them be able to hop up this way. Alright, so I can almost maneuver in and out without getting hit. <laughs> uh, I think I'll put a few on the other ramp just in case and we'll call it good. Out of materials again, more number. And I'm finally starting to get the hang of the um, crafting stuff and progressions. Uh oh. Now I ran out of rope finally. I'll have to do. Need a little more iron for the torches, and I think we're all set for the first night. It would be good to get a little more food. I don't have a lot of food, but it's a little harder to find food at night. All right, let's go down this way and we'll go grab some more. Uh, more iron. Going to get one of these birds one of these times. Oh, that's a duck. The duck? No, it's not the duck.
Huh. Not a third person seven days to die. It's a first person Catching seven days to die. Can really drain your energy, right? When you need feathers, it's much simpler to just pop into the kiosk and buy some. It's the modern way of doing things, embracing convenience. Otherwise, yes, it's uh, the closest game to Seven Days to Die that I've seen yet. Although the Horde Knight thing is uh, better, maybe? I haven't done enough of them, but um, the kind of base building you can do in the Horde Knight shenanigans with the uh, huge array of traps, of which I've only got the very beginning ones listed. There's a lot more than what I've got. Currently available. Um, looks pretty interesting. Looked like a lot of fun, especially in multiplayer. Get a bunch of people building a big, big horde base and uh, defending it. So hopefully enough other people want to join in for some uh, co-op gameplay on a community server that we can get that going. All right, where are you, Iron? One of the differences between this and Seven Days to Die, though, is it is not voxel-based, so you can't deform the terrain. Oops. Hit the wrong key. That is a duck. Gonna land, ducky? He must have landed right on the other side of the, uh... Oh. Oh, come on now. Don't be teasing me like that. Yeah, I prefer first person as well, but they added first person later in the development and it's it's a bit wonky in a few ways. So I'm kind of going back and forth. <clears throat> <laughs> Why does everybody keep asking me about current stuff in Cataclysm? <laughs> I haven't played it in nine months. <laughs> I haven't looked at it. I don't read the forums. I don't read the Discord. I don't read the Reddit. I'm on a break. <laughs> and I'm serious about my breaks. I don't have the faintest idea about any of that stuff. You'll have to ask elsewhere. I am no longer in authority. <laughs> oh, nothing to be sorry about. I'm mostly kidding, but people keep asking me, and I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still on my break. Once I am not on my break, then feel free to ask. Although even then, when I start playing again, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to not be checking up on the forums and everything. I'm just going to play the game. And uh, I, have, I have relinquished any uh, desire to... Read all of the discords and all the forums and all the everything to be able to answer every question at every time. Those days are gone. I'm looking forward to uh, being ignorant and dying horrible deaths.
So this is one of those games where we don't get super dark. I'm not sure if it's, if uh, I haven't been to too many indoor locations at night, so I don't know if it gets really dark indoors or like underground or something. But um, I mean, we're at hour 21. The moon is coming up. And I mean, even if I turn this light off, we got pretty good visibility considering. So this is, game doesn't get super dark, at least outside, unless weather conditions or something changes the light levels at night that I haven't seen yet. Uh, but with four hours per day, <laughs> it's going to take quite a few days probably to get a good feel for how much this might change. But um, so I prefer darker nights than what this is giving me. Um, but I do like that this one has good light. I mean, a flashlight actually provides a decent amount of light. Too many of the games that I play, and I don't know if it's an engine thing with whatever graphics engine they're using or what, but too many times I'll turn on a flashlight and it, and all I can see is like two feet in front of me. And then the light disappears when you get, see how this disappears when you get close to the object. That's always weird to me that that happens. But this one actually provides a good amount of light. The, lamp, the flashlight, the lamps, and so on. They, they pump out quite a bit of uh, lumens. Is it worth getting all the DLC for this game? I don't know. <laughs> that was the faintest idea. I'm like five hours into playing this game. I didn't look at the DLC. I think it's all cosmetic. So, you know, if you're into cosmetic DLC, go for it. I am not into cosmetic DLC. Nope, no digging underground. I cannot affect the ground or the terrain in any shape. The only thing you can do is knock down resource type things, trees and rocks and things like that. You cannot manipulate the environment. You can build really big structures, but you got to find areas to do it. And, I mean, you can build on top of big building roofs and build your own structures and so on. So there's still a lot of things you can do. And the world and the, the terrain and the, the cities and so on are varied enough. It looks like it will support quite a bit of variety. Hey, zombie. Let's dance. Ooh, it actually fired low. <laughs> That's always fun. <laughs> Hour twenty two. Coming up on the last chances to uh, do some base upgrades. Enemies do have hit locations as well. So while it looks kind of janky, I'm liking the combat a lot more now than I did when I first started playing. And I don't know how it's coming across to you guys, but the um, the archery is well aimed and very precise. The uh, movement of the enemies is varied enough. Some of them do various maneuvers and ops and so on, but I can do like leg shots to uh, blow off their legs and slow them down or knock them on the ground, things like that. So... The system's a little more involved than it may seem at first. See if I can do some leg shots here. Just like that. So that adds quite a bit of interesting tactical variety. Ah, we set him on fire. <laughs> and then we exploded him. So yeah, the more I play, the more interested I am. It's uh, it's actually pretty good. I don't know about balance or progression, and there's a ton of server settings and dials and knobs and levers I can flip for various uh, difficulty 
changes. Um, so who knows what we'll move to as time goes by. And there are guns. It actually goes up quite a ways technology-wise. Um, late game stuff. I mean, you'll have vast metal fortresses with rocket launchers firing barrages down into open areas and industrial flamethrowers hosing down locations or lanes that the zombies are approaching on and trebuchets launching boulders and just all sorts of stuff. That looks like a big birdie. Is that a hawk? Machine gunned him. Now nah, it's a set map with different starting locations. That's probably the other biggest difference between this and Seven Days to Die. But I've I've I'm I'm out of love with Seven Days to Die's random maps. I just don't care. It's terrible random. It's it's the awfulest, terriblest, most baddest random. Ninety percent of the map is just useless open area that makes absolutely no difference in any of your playthroughs. Uh, it's really just the towns and the town randomization of the streets and the buildings. That's the only thing that really matters. Other than that, it's just trash. So I don't really care about the uh, fact that it's a stable or a set map. As long as it's big enough and there's interesting locations and you can fiddle with the, um, the various just the server settings, you can get quite a lot of game time out of a map like this without needing it to be randomized. All right. Um, dump stuff into boxes. Process some feathers. Not sure what I need the feathers for. I don't need them for arrows, so I don't know what they go for. All right, five roosted birds should get us at least through the night. Yeah, I upgraded the wrong pickaxe. I'm confused again, so... Oh, it was the fire eye, woodcutter's axe. It was the confusion, not the pickaxe. All right, uh, lamps. I've got enough for, if I get a little more timber or lumber. Get some lamps up. I'm assuming the lamp's not going to be affected by the action of the trap. That would be kind of weird. Eh, let's put it over on this side. All right, I think that'll be enough. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's interesting. So we can parkour jump, can we? Hmm. I'll have to uh, check that out. Maybe I can climb on top of things. I hadn't actually tried that yet. It didn't let me go over like fences. So I'm wondering what the what the restrictions are. I remember when I was coming through town, unless I did it wrong, but I couldn't figure out how to get over medium height fences. All right, hour 22. So we're real close to horde night. Um, what do I want to do? So we don't have the parts we need to do upgrades. I think everything's fine durability wise. So reforge. What's it going to cost me to reforge this pipe again? All right, we have all that. Required a junior blacksmith. Okay. Locked and locked. I haven't tried much with the spear. I need to start practicing with the spear. And we need to get some bags put together. I need to get rid of this other axe. We're running out of space. You can, um, I need to get that, um, uh, make things go away device. <laughs> Where's that make things go away device? That one. The crusher, more gears, more rubber, more nails. Yeah. I'll have to wait till after the blood moon for that or the, uh, horde night. I haven't put the coil bench up yet, which is again more metal. Okay, so I think we've gotten the upgrades we can do. Character screen, we have a stat point. Whoa. What the? <laughs> uh, have I been gaining points from doing the quest stuff? Hmm. So close to a level. I still have no idea why these things kicked in. I don't know when I'm getting coils and then it all of a sudden kicked these things off. So you got to have certain combinations of coils in order to get these effects apparently. Go look at our journal. I haven't looked at this in a while. So main story, we're, they're still waiting for me to go to the hospital, which is in town right there. So we'll do that eventually. Um, the build quest, build a spike launcher. Traps that attack from a distance. Hmm. Guess I could put that right at the end of my little chain there, firing straight down the line. I assume it'll pass through these intervening things. If not, that'd be a little bit of a problem. But we'll hold off on that for this one. I think we've got enough. If we're going to get something similar to the last time, this arrangement should be just massively superior to what we encountered or what we dealt with on the first night. That's my hope anyway. Back to the journal. All right, so. Um, all done. We've still got the. Oh, craft three rope. All right, let's go craft three rope. Three rope complete. Undone. 
Not doing that right now. Upgrade the box. We've already done that one twice. Uh, yeah, hammer. Piece of rubber and one nail. Done on that page, done on that page. So just that, and it's not checking this off for some reason. I mean, we built it, we completed it, but it's not showing it completing. Crafting quest, feathers, buy. Buy sparrow feathers, buy raven feathers from the hunter kiosk. So that's the kiosk look. Looks like it's on a dock somewhere. Haven't done, I mean, we did javelins and throwing knives earlier too, so I'm not sure why they're, I'm getting these now. After, and we crafted repair kits too, so yeah, a lot of the stuff. Oh yeah, I did, I did want to do a shield. Um, where is the shield made? Another rubber and a wooden plank. It seems you've acquired a shield, soldier. If you block an enemy strike accurately with a shield, you get an opportunity to counterattack. But if you rely on the shield indiscriminately, your posture will collapse, putting you at risk. <laughs> Therefore, it's paramount to constantly monitor and manage your guard stamina. What the hell is my guard stamina? Is that that white bar? The bottom left? Or the white bar next to the shield icon? And how do I actually... <laughs> How do I actually block? Right click is for the power attack or the stab stuff. <laughs> kick, yeah, we know kick, we know move, special. Hmm, how the hell do you block? Back defense. Oh, I guess that does do that. But why so? <laughs> I can't tell in first person mode that I'm in defense. <laughs> There's no difference. So this is what it does in first person mode. And that's the same thing as the stab action, which the blunt weapon doesn't have much of a stab. But in third person, you can actually tell you're going into defense mode. Yeah, it's still a stab action. You're hiding behind the shield and then you're stabbing forward. You don't, that's, I'm holding right mouse right now to have the shield in front of me. And it is not draining stamina. Apparently, I, I, I think what's going to happen is if I take a hit, it's going to drain that white bar next to the shield. And I, that's what I have to keep an eye on. I can't just stay turtled up behind my shield continuously. And then if you're holding right click in defense, you can stab forward. So that makes more sense if I have the uh, the spear in my inventory. So if we go, oh, never mind, spear's two-handed. Yeah, we'll just stay with the pike. Um, whoa, shield disappeared from my left hand. Did it? Interesting. Hmm. 
All right, 39 arrows. Let's get some more arrows. Ran out of pieces of iron again. All right, guess we won't get more arrows. We have to rely on our traps. Okay, before this thing fires off, let's put a save on. And I'm going to step away from the computer for just a couple minutes, go get another bottle of water. I'll be right back.
Okay. Back to it. Uh, do I think I'm ever going to play PZ again? No. I will not be playing Project Zomboid again. It is not on my keep an eye on and play again in the future list. <laughs> All right. Um, I think the next project after we get through this horde night is going to be getting the coil workbench up. So we'll go do some more iron harvesting, get that up so I can see what the heck that does. Crafting coils or attaching coils to equipment. That seems like a pretty big function we haven't looked into yet. Get the production bench or the, uh, the crusher up. And I think that completes most of the benches. We still got a bunch of trap stuff we haven't unlocked yet. Oh, hey, look, spike launcher and the trebuchet. Barrel bombs, landmines, trap doors, ankle traps, a lot of fun stuff. Oh, yeah, I should probably get some of these up. Too. Whoops. I just run right through the middle of these? I can. All right, so they don't block me. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, I think I will just stand around with my... Oof, I got to get this thing on my hotbar too. Uh, I don't need you anymore. Where are you, zombies? Last time it took the zombies a couple of minutes, but once they, up oh, there they are. They're coming from the same direction as they did last time. All right, and they're pathing right to the front. <laughs> they're going to path right through my base. All right, that's fine. Here we go. Let the fun begin. Dude, wow. Uh, we've got some bigger guys than I remember having last time. Working pretty well so far. Just that one guy just strolled on through. And I'm far enough from here. I'm far enough from the spitter guys that they're not uh, launching spit at me. And they haven't approached from another direction where they might hit me from a closer angle. At least so far. I think they can't spawn from back there, which kind of makes it kind of nice. If I can keep the um, approach paths fairly easy Working pretty well so far. Wonder when that thing was 
How come the uh, spiked ball is not moving anymore? I'm gonna have a big problem if the spiked ball isn't gonna move. Do I have to reset it or do something to it? Yeah, what's the deal with the spiked ball? Let's, uh, let's get the hammer back out. Whoops. I can't get... <laughs> Come on, Spiked Ball. I want to see you back in action. Still not doing anything. Yeah, we'll try to get up there again. No, I'm not seeing anything. I got a repair option. But it's 100%. It says count 0 out of 30. So, how do I get it to reset? Where was the reload option? I'm not seeing it. I mean, I see reload for this. Hello. <laughs> I think I finally got the reload done on it. Yeah, all right, finally got the reload on it. Hey. Rude. <laughs> I 
Can't seem to get... There we go. Where you point is kind of finicky. Whoops. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping crouching would keep it from hitting me. Didn't work. I think the... Uh, uh, trying to tell if the front spikes are working. I think the front spikes might not be working. I do like that you're forced to uh, reset the traps. Hello. What are you doing? Get over there. Unk. More waves incoming. I wonder if the shield will block the acid. Well, we're killing them fast enough that the incoming uh, waves are pretty much getting eliminated, not allowing them to stack up too deep. Uh-oh. Forward spikes are needing reset. Ouch. Uh-oh.
Whoops. Big guy. All right, hammer. Whoa. Oh, you ignored it. <laughs> nice. Can be the last guy. Is that like the boss of the uh, the evening? <laughs> I think that might be it. Ah, it worked pretty well once I figured out how to repair thing, or how I figured figured out how to reload things. Amazing how much damage and how many kills these little spikes get. Upgrade. Need a wrench. Yeah. Wrong button. <laughs> uh, hit points 100%. Yeah, these things are crazy. Ninety nine percent, ninety nine percent. Didn't get a chance to get down this far to try to get him to reload. There's so many bags and objects, and this thing swinging constantly. It was hard for me to come down here and get the uh, reload option to show up. Might have been better just to run along. I wonder if I could get it to show up on the sides. We can get that to reload. Why not these? Huh. Yeah. Oh, these are already reloaded. Yeah, I could have just run along here and done it. I would have been safe adjacent if I had waited for the right opportunities. So these would be easier that way. Good to know. Worked well. Yeah, there's a whole electricity system. That'll be cool to get to eventually. This will probably, with a little bit of tweaking, maybe an extension or two, will probably get me through the next couple. Hopefully. Uh, what do we pick up? Uh, so... Not much. A few random items. And a fair bit of research data, so we can get some upgrades. Actually, we're, we're, we're almost stuck on what upgrades we can do now, because we're stuck behind other requirements. So like Porter here, I have to go find this calisthenics book. Tain Factory. <laughs> sure. Where's that? 
logging expert. Yeah, it's all these secondary requirements. Gourmet. Go ahead and research that. And again, we need stuff. Hey, junior blacksmith. Ooh, a machine gun. Machete. Minigun, turret ammo. All right, I think that's good for now. Max hit points increase. All right, now we're done. <laughs> okay, uh, nothing to fix. That's good. And I think it will probably last it part through the next one without too much difficulty now that I know how it works. Um, I'll have to think about what else I want to do. I might try to figure out that pusher plate thing. We only had a couple of occasions where something actually made it to the final platform. And if I set up that ballista firing down that way, I think that might be enough for the next moon. So I'm not gonna worry so much about getting that established. I need to get some more iron, but I think what we'll do is we'll go adventuring for a bit and uh, kill zombies and loot stuff from buildings and see if we can find some, uh, some books um, for most of the day. And we'll uh, mine iron as we come across it and gather some food items from animals and such. All right, so our stats are looking good. Our gear is looking good. I didn't use much. I need to empty my inventory. Keeping that, I need to get rid of this. some of this stuff I'm never using. Javelins and the throwing knives. I may just throw those on the ground somewhere. Healing. Got a little bit of food. I need more food. Yeah, I definitely need more food. And we don't have any options for food. All right, maybe I'll have to do some of that first. We're going to have to wait for the sun to come up, though. I haven't seen that you can loot much food. The few things I found were like rotten soda and things like that. Uh, we've cleared out the research center there. We've been to that building and the closest building here and back to that warehouse. Speaking of, let's grab our, our money items. Take those with us. I think I'll head that direction. Back to this spot. Almost run out of my uh, bonus meal. White bar went down, the, the durability went, or my stamina went down. Ooh, 
Whoa. Rude. Love that shield smash that they uh they have. All right. Uh, I don't remember needing anything specific here. Not yet, anyway. We haven't actually gone in here and cleared it yet. This main part of the building. I've been in that room. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. How many is that going to end up being? Books, please. <laughs> One nail. One solitary nail. Like ammo boxes. Yep. All right, we've been over there. Can't be the only way in. Or can it? How do you get back out again if that's the only way in?
Hmm. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Can you get in there? Apparently not. Thought that was a drop in spot. If it is, I can't manage it. All right. Um, keep moving. And I remember, did we go in here? I don't know yet if they can break those doors down either. Yes, they can. Question answered. What? I don't get my arrows back from you? Oh, there they are. That's weird. Iron. <laughs> I'm a little too close. Come on. Uh, back over towards the road.
Ah, I toward that explorer, the uh, acid gag, there he is. Hello. That was fairly interesting. Yeah, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Still very new to it. I just started playing it earlier today. So we're still in very much learning mode. Nothing. All right, got a house back there. Her arm off. It's gonna give me plastic. Nails. Okay. And plastic. <laughs> Sometimes. Um. Hmm. Go down this way.
usually at least three or four. I see one person through the window there, at least one. Get you through the window. Apparently not. Nice. <laughs> You guys gonna bust out of there? Kneecapper. No leg for you. Light zombies. Quest number Ultra. three complete. Some zombies possess unique abilities. Among them, the Screamer is one you should be particularly wary of. That creature attracts nearby zombies when it screams. Keep that in mind. We got screamers in this game, huh? So far, it seems like as soon as you activate a house, whoops, they all come running. And the house is clear after the initial ruckus. Whoa. Small cloth bag. That, ooh, a rare small cloth bag. X hit points, strength plus five. Really? Is that literally five points of strength, meaning I'm going to go to 13? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Hmm. Movement speed, fire reinforcement, a skin socket. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. That. While rummaging through furniture and items, you might come across coins. Even though people have vanished and currency might seem pointless now, there are still places where they are handy. figure out if I could jump up and like climb up onto roofs and stuff. Oh, all right. Apparently I did it wrong when we were in the city when I first started playing this morning. Like this. Can I go all the way up onto the roof here? Yep, sure enough. Well, that changes things a lot. Yeah, I'm liking the game more and more. These kinds of options change things quite a bit. Hey, guys. 
Yeah, let's just wake the whole house up. Burr's that. Oh, we didn't wake up the whole house. Ammo. Can I shoot the red barrel? Finally got his leg. Not enough arrows, uh oh.
All right. My 12 arrows left. Yeah, we've gone through quite a few. Still not finding any books. Not counting research papers. That sure looks like a bookshelf. Not getting books. Hello. Come on now. Hey! Woo. Stamina. Well, this seems to do a pretty good job. I haven't actually tried using the spear much. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> 
Got me twice with the knockdown attack. It's about the darkest I've seen it get during it's, it's daylight. This little room here. All right, I'm starting the back corner here. Come on, bookshelf. Hey, we got a book, The Art of War. I remember that one on the list. Finally. I'm gonna check the rest of this little area right here and then we're gonna head back. Well, hi there. Can I finally harvest the iron? <laughs> you done sending guys at me? Getting a little full.
bolt handle for shield. Probably can't get in that building. Now the electrical effects, uh, I have electricity and burn and it's this coil stuff right here. So I've got fire, lightning, and vital attack, which is critical attack bonus and endurance bonus. So getting different combinations of coils unlocks the uh, options or possibilities of this stuff. But I have no idea where these coils are coming from. <laughs> I don't know if I'm looting them on occasion or what, because I've never built one. We haven't built the coil bench yet. So apparently I'm looting them on rare occasions, and we've just happened to have the right combos to get these unlocked. There was a third one. Pickaxe common. Almost out of slots. There you are. Can't get in that one. Lot more buildings in this area than I kind of expected. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep creeping through all of them. One, two. Yeah, they could be showing up on the big... Well, for loot, though, I'm not often having big piles of loot bags nearby. I'm picking up lots of arrows and maybe one loot bag. Other than the, uh, the horde at night.
<laughs> I hate it when they do that. Uh huh. I know. You just you just want to be put out of your misery. <laughs> Did I actually finish this? Now we finished it. All right, I think we'll grab these two pieces of iron and start heading back home. Hey, kick. What the hell? A game. Uh. <laughs> Gee, nice of you to stop responding to all controls for a while there. Hello. 
No bookshelf. Alright. Do I think we're just gonna run straight home. Good trip. We got quite a bit of stuff. Quite a few low whoa. Hi, three guys. If I'm getting stunned or what. Maybe I'm getting stunned. We got screamers, we got acid spitters, we got a whole host of special ones that are in various locations. I don't know when they start showing up in the nightly waves. There's one uh, really creepy crawly one that we saw in a warehouse not too far away on the other side of the base there's a big warehouse looking area that i'll go to next that um has a bunch of legs and creeps along on the ground at you and he's like a mini boss type he took a lot of damage to go down oh yeah wait till you see when i get back to base <laughs> every single night is horde night Whoa! I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, come on. I can't hit him with a pipe, but he can punch me. That's annoying. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> yeah, I had no idea we had the jump kick. It's hilarious. Oops. That was like a flip kick. <laughs> Cool. I keep finding more stuff. Inventory is full. Ah, here's my nightly horde base currently. <laughs> this is day two or day three. So first they have to get through those. Then we have spike trap. Spikes pop up out of the floor here, here, and here which staggers them and damages them. And then the ball comes swinging down and smashes them in their faces. Then uh, this thing spins around and knocks them off. And then the blade trappy thingy. We're going to add more. That guy's hanging out near my base. Why are you guys hanging out near my base? Must be respawns from the lab. I got their attention. can't put my item away because my inventory is full. Let's unfull my inventory. Transfer. Transfer. We have an office worker trophy. Yeah, I need another box. I don't have enough space for stuff. All right, uh, so what was the thing we needed? The combat one? Not Robin Hood. There we go, Heart of War. We can do Tactician. Damage plus two and attack speed two. My usage. All right. So, got some upgrades through the research books. Um, food. Yeah, you collect research pages, which you loot from zombies and uh, occasionally from containers and stuff. You get a ton of them when you do the nightly horde night because you get hundreds of zombies that come after you at horde night. So it's just piles and piles of bags with research notes. That warehouse I was talking about is right over there. Still not much food. Mm. 
All right, character. We got four more points. Uh... Points spent. Now let's look at getting that uh, those build or the workbenches we don't have up yet. So coil bench. I just need some rebar or one rebar for the coil bench. Uh, rebar. Branches. Attach, huh? Craft, trap modification, ignition coil, chilling coil, lightning coil. Interesting. Not sure why the trap mod stuff is wigging out, but. Clay, huh? And copper wire. Yeah, I need to find more uh, computers to take apart to get the copper wire. Actually, I think I can make copper wire. Yeah. Out of copper ingots, which we just need more branches for, plus the copper I've got. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this thing, how this thing works. Yeah, you can, but I don't have, I, the wrench recipe is locked behind an item I don't have yet. So, uh, yeah, the engineer trait here. I have to have this polychemistry book, which is apparently central grassland area and the checkpoint location, which I don't know where that's at. <laughs> so polymer chemistry. So yeah, I can't get the wrench until I find this item. Maybe it's time to go start the main storyline at the hospital, head into town, see what adventures we can get into there. I want to go up here first. This is that warehouse thing I was talking about where the big crawly thing came out of. I want to go check that first and we'll uh, figure out where we're going to go. Um, What was the other one? The other one was the crusher. We're done there. Yeah, that thing. So two gears, 11 nails, iron plates, and rebar. Wow, that is a ton of iron. I don't know that I brought that much back. Iron ore, pieces of iron, eh, maybe. So two gears, 11 nails. Let's do that first. All right, three iron plates and two rebar. Ah, stuck behind branches. Means going and chopping a bunch of trees down again. Uh, uh oh, oh, scroll up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Multiples.
wonder if it's better to use that than the knife. If it makes any difference. I think the swing speed's faster on the knife. I don't remember if you get any harvest rate bonuses. Knife uses a lot of stamina. Ooh, I haven't tried killing one of those. Really? Can be dodged. I got a luck, lucky electrical shock. <laughs> Hopefully we get more than one meat off of this. One meat. <laughs> one meat cut. And a deer skin. Really the first of those I've seen. and three iron plates and one more rebar. Crusher used to remove unnecessary items. Um, sure. Here. Actually, I might need another chest right in there. So I know 
you apparently, I forget where you do it, but if you have five of an item, you can combine them together to make one of a new version of the item, possibly a higher level. I don't know if it's worth holding on to stuff like this to, to try to wait to do that. So let's just toss this old leather level one tier one type stuff away. See what, see what it does when we throw it in here. Does it just delete it? Or do you get materials back? Seems like it just deletes it. So it's a make things go away box. And then I don't know how to use box. Why would you do this? Assuming the meat cut is grillable. Yeah. Guess they just decided to come visit. <laughs> okay. Um, need to get more arrows made. Need to repair, which I think I, uh, did I put it away? I'm down to one. Oh no, 10. Uh, yeah, the rest is fine. Uh, you're not fine. All right, so we got the bow repaired. We got the arrows replenished. Still got some healing. I've got food. Too many different types. Leave the energy bars. forgetting the th oh yeah that's right i have the crusher now <laughs> goodbye never using you so the bolt handle is for shield okay All right, old handle on the shield. Next up, reforge. What are we locked behind now? Tape. Tape is going to be the problem.
skins. Who's not on the list anymore? Oh. Yeah, tape. Tape and a rubber. So, can I craft five pickaxes? Uh, actually, can I make pickaxes? I don't remember. Right there. And unlock the last one. I can craft pickaxes. So, I don't remember where it said you do the um, the five to one trade in type thing. Disassemble. If that's what I should have done with that other stuff. Um, one please. I'm gonna get one small stone back. I'll wait on that one then. Yeah, I'll have to look at that a little more. And I need to figure this stuff out. What's it going to take to upgrade this to the last level? Oh, my wrench. <laughs> Ten nails and fifteen bricks. Not too worried about that. That's it. Other than getting these upgraded again. That's a lot of leather. Given that I get one piece of hide or leather per animal. All right, so we're on hour 10. <clears throat> um, I think we've got all the upgrades I want to do right now. I'm still not too worried about the nighttime fight. I'll try to get at least one or two more additions made to the, uh, the base defense. But I think now that I know how to reset the things, I just got to wait for the opportunities and get the repairs done on mostly the spikes is where I was having the problem. The front spikes primarily. The rest of it I was able to kind of creep up on and get repaired as needed. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll be okay with that. Oh, yeah, I got to get a bed down again. Uh, no. Forgot I blew my bed up. Carpet. Nails and iron plates for a bed? Really? 
I'll just uh, I'll take another sleeping bag. All right. <clears throat> I think that's enough for now. It's uh, another five hours. <laughs> um, this is another one of those games where, for me, time kind of flies as I'm playing. Um, uh, I'm liking it more and more the more I play. The combat system's actually pretty good. Um, looks a little janky, but once you kind of grok it a bit, uh, it's actually pretty elegant. So uh, I'm liking that, and... Um, the crafting stuff is pretty good. So far, the only thing I really wish for is the ability to move workstations without having to blow them up to relocate them. I wish I could just hit a button to pick them up, get back into a ghost form, and then relocate them. But um, don't have that. But otherwise, it's staying pretty interesting. So the um, once-a-night horde of tax keeps things exciting. And um, they only occur every four hours four real world hours of gameplay time since that's how long a full day cycle is with the current standard settings but um yeah things are interesting so i'll see if uh, over the weekend i can talk a few folks to maybe join me on a community server at some point i think we'd have a good time with the game in multiplayer um, i need to know how a few of the things work in multiplayer in regards to difficulty scaling and things like that but um yeah, having fun. So that's going to be it for me for this evening. I will uh, catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching as always.